Duncan. And do not forget that you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all at Drew Duncan Radio. You can find me on YouTube and Patreon, so to look for Drew Duncan Radio. And I am wherever you are listening to podcasts. Simply tell your device to play Drew Duncan on Spotify, Spreaker, Google Podcasts, CastBox, Deezer, Podcast Addict, Apple Podcasts, wherever you're listening to podcasts. I am there. You know, I, I've always kind of taken issue with headline media. And the thing about being a journalist is, you know, we were always taught to not necessarily give you something that's eye-catching, but to give you something that rounds out what the article is about. And half the time, that never really happens, does it? Somebody will, will say something in the headline, and you'll actually take three seconds out of your day to click on the damn thing, and you, you get to reading it, and you go, well, this doesn't sound right at all. This is actually very much nothing like what the headline of this article says that it is at all. And it's frustrating, and it's annoying. And one of those recently happened with Anthony Davis, right? You may have read a headline that said something to the effect of Anthony Davis is declining the $146 million max contract and is going to be a free agent. And automatically what happens is a lot of people jump the gun and go, oh, he's not going to be in L.A. next year. Oh, he's going to go get bigger money somewhere else. Oh, him and LeBron James this, him and LeBron James that. LeBron, 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 LeBron. Somehow, the NBA seems to figure out a way to circle right back around to LeBron freaking James. And it gets really damn old. There are other players in this league, but I understand LeBron, Tom Brady, they're winners, they're polarizing, they're always going to be a huge topic of discussion. I get that. But the point of what I'm saying is in this particular instance is that this whole thing with AD is probably going to not be that big of a deal. And I say that because it has been long since stated by Anthony Davis that he didn't really want to deal with contract negotiations in the middle of the season, that he was probably going to uh, turn it down from the beginning anyways. And the expectation is that more than likely, he will re-sign with the Lakers next year, especially given the early on success that the Lakers have enjoyed, at least to a lot of people, right? Because to me, when I watch the Lakers, yeah, I see a lot of flashy stuff happening, but I, I think in terms of beating some of the better teams in the NBA, uh, you can look at that record and know that they have struggled. But the point of what I'm saying is that's what I mean. Headline media, headline news, especially when you're trying to get a click, you know, because people are obviously you're, you're paid based off of your clicks, you're paid – based off of your comments, you're you're paid based off of the amount of attention that you get. You're you're paid because you're you're running ads and you gotta generate and you promise a certain amount of ad traffic and all this other kind of stuff. And some people are keeping track of it and some people aren't and some people are keeping track of it for you and the whole damn thing gets so watered down and muddled that trust me, you don't want me to go in and explain how all this nonsense actually works. What I can tell you is this is that headline media is ruining a lot of sports. It's ruining a lot of everything. And this is part of what it is right here. This whole thing with Anthony Davis is really just no big damn deal at all. And even if he doesn't sign with LA, even if he, it was a formality, and even if he was just like, look, man, I'm just going to wait, you know, and, and end up going somewhere else. So what? It's his career. He could do whatever he wants to with it. That's pretty damn simple, don't you think? And my thing is, is that when I look at a situation like what's going on with Anthony Davis, why shouldn't he, or where is he incorrect about wanting to just focus on the season? I know that Kevin Durant had signed, you know, contracts with Golden State right around this time of year and turned down stuff, and he actually did it to save the team money and all those kinds of things. And maybe Anthony Davis is planning on doing the same thing. Maybe Anthony Davis at the end of this year We'll look around and go, you know, we need some other pieces to this puzzle. I'm going to go ahead and take this cut, which doesn't seem Anthony Davis like, but you never know, and allow some room for some other guys to come in 
that we may need. Look, this L.A. roster is already fairly stacked. Okay? I I really think that Davis will stay next season, even if he doesn't, on to the next one. And I, I know that it's easy for me to say that because I have no stake in the L.A. Lakers. Right? I know the L.A. Laker fan is tired of being mediocre. Well, welcome to my life as a New York Nick, dude, for basically the last 20 years. Welcome to my life as a Syracuse Orange football fan for the last 20 years. Welcome to my life as a Denver Bronco fan over the last few years. And before that, very mediocre, you know, until you know, that defense came in and got that Super Bowl, right? So while a lot of us are going boo-hoo, you've been good for how long? You've been on top, you've been in dominant, you've been in playoffs, you've been in championships for how long? Let somebody else get a piece of the pie. To LA Laker fan, though, it's, dude, don't understate Anthony Davis. We might lose that, man. Why are you treating it like it's nothing? Because ultimately, like Anthony Davis... I think you all should just enjoy this season while you have it and see how things play out. We're still quite a while away, guys, from the NBA playoffs. There's still months to go. We're still really far away from the NBA finals. You know, I I think that we just need to all kind of calm down, take a deep breath, step back a little bit, and just kind of see it for what it really is. It's really a non-story that is getting completely blown out of proportion. And I just think it's a little ridiculous. In fact, I think it's a lot of ridiculous, just to be perfectly honest with you. I think it's a lot of ridiculous. So what's the point of what I'm telling you? Well, I'm tired of headline media. Number two, I think that everybody just needs to woo-saw a little bit, my man, and just let this thing play out. If Davis wants to be a Laker next season, he will be. If he doesn't, he won't be. But how do you know that by the end of the year, you as a fan will even want him to be an L.A. Laker? A lot can happen between now and then. You know, I know somebody who's a diehard L.A. Lakers fan, and they told me that they were selling their tickets when LeBron very first went to that team for way above the price that they were worth. Season tickets up in the nosebleeds, man, for way above what they were worth because LeBron was there. It was insane, and and LeBron is still the guy. He's getting some help from Anthony Davis, but ultimately his ball distribution and other things that he's doing right now, it's still his basketball team. It really is. Or at least it should be. By the end of the season, it may not be seen that way. The way Anthony Davis is playing, it might be seen the other way. Just because somebody's a polarizing superstar doesn't necessarily mean that it's their team. Look at the Dallas Cowboys. People think that it's Dak Prescott's team, and it's not. That team goes as Zeke goes. It's just the way that it is. Guys, I am Drew Duncan. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram is all at Drew Duncan Radio. You can find me on YouTube and Patreon, Drew Duncan Radio. And I am wherever you are listening to podcasts. Simple tell your device to play Drew Duncan on Spreaker, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, etc. I am wherever you are listening to podcasts. And as always, don't you dare touch that dial.